today on Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part and welcome to my Valentine's Day Decorate With Me. I'm sure you could tell by the thumbnail that you clicked on to watch this video. It is not going to involve any color. I like to make my holiday decor match my house otherwise it will not last long at all. And I feel like with Valentine's Day if you don't put it up a little bit early it doesn't stay up long anyways since the 14th really comes really quickly in the month. Typically most holidays are at the end of the month. Month. So I definitely wanted to get this motivation out for you just a little bit early. So if you would be decorating around the first, you could see what I did, what I used, how I changed some pieces up, and you would have time to do it as well. Will you bet if you get the chance? I know I surely the first thing I like to do when I'm decorating, whether it's for a room makeover or for holiday decor, I like to pull everything out and put it in my living room so I can see what I'm working with. So in my head, I can process, you know, how many pieces need to go in the living room, how many need to go in the kitchen, if I'm gonna be doing my entryway, I can kind of start seeing what I have. And so when I go to decorate, I can just grab those pieces. But if I leave them like in a closet, I'm gonna forget about it. I'm not gonna remember I have it. So definitely pull all of those out. I went ahead and pulled down my tub from last year too, which I was glad I did because I found a few things in there I was really needing. Yeah, my sweetheart. So this is my tub from last year, maybe from the year before, and I keep stuff in here. I think last year I added pink and red because I had a lot more pink in my house. I was also more glam style, so Valentine's Day worked better. So I'm not gonna be using any of this this year, but I like to keep it because you guys know there's no telling what I'm gonna do next year. So I just like to hang on to all of my holiday stuff. Um, I did have this from last year and it looked really good in my house, but obviously I'm not this glam anymore. So I'm gonna take it out and just spray it with a can of like um, black spray paint and I'm gonna do the flat or like a matte. So I don't want it to be shiny. I think this will turn out really cool. Um, I'm curious to see how the glitter does. It may add some like cool texture to it. But I had also picked up these two items from Ross. This one was only um, $5.99. I don't know if it's gonna focus. Let me see if I can get it. There we go. So I think this will look really cool spray painted black and then this too. So I was just gonna go ahead and tape this off so I could have black and the wood, but then I realized this slides right out. It comes all the way out. Let me see if I can get it with one hand. There we go. So I can literally spray paint this front and back and then just slide it back in here. And that's gonna be like totally my style with the black and wood. So we're gonna start on this first so this stuff can be drying. So when it goes to decorating, I have it ready to go. So here's the before so you guys can see how everything's starting out. Um, this is the black spray paint I've been using. Definitely make sure you grab one with a primer in it. I feel like it helps. These are super affordable. I feel like this is the easiest and cheapest way to change out some of your decor. Even if it's not holiday decor, this I do all the time. Just spray things black. Or if you want it gold, do it gold. Or if you want it blue, do it blue. But in my case, I'm going to be adding black because none of these pieces would have been staying in my house for Valentine's Day if it wasn't for the can of spray paint. And it really just takes a few minutes. One little tip, just like a pro tip for you guys, if you're going to be spray painting something that you're doing the front and the back, do the back first so when that dries, you flip it over and the front that's going to be facing out the majority of the time you never have to like lay down on a surface it just it's going to be the prettier side when you're done so always do the back first and then flip it over and do the front you're my 
I know some of you guys get really nervous or can't get motivated to spray paint, but just keep some of your Amazon boxes that get delivered so you can spray paint on them. Grab a can of spray paint, just one, so you don't like waste your money if you don't like it. And then next time you have a piece that you're like, I don't like it, try spray painting that piece because then you're not gonna mess it up. If you already don't like it or if it's already not your style, you really can't go wrong here. Now I will say in this clip right here, it looks shiny. That's because it's still wet, but it's gonna dry nice and flat and be beautiful. Okay, while that stuff's drying, I remembered I had my front doormat from last year. I feel like when it's a holiday that it's only up a few weeks, it lasts a little bit longer. Like <laughs> This one still looks brand new, so I'm going to switch it out. I had recently put this one in. I will say every time I used to do um, any type of video out here, I was always cleaning off my front porch. I'm still going to do it a little bit, but mulch would always come up off of it. And I've showed this in a few other videos, but just in case you're new or you missed some, we um, had our landscaping done and this rock is a game changer. Like it stays in every time it's windy or rainy, it doesn't come out. My front porch stays clean. Plus it just looks like a home now. It doesn't look like just a new build where nobody's living here. So we are super, super happy with that. Just remember if you're gonna be decorating for a holiday, I always try to do my porch as well, even if it's just a cute mat, like holiday mat. I used to have matching flags. Sometimes I get pillows for my swing. You can even get cute wreaths, but it's just a fun way when your guests come over to your house, they instantly see the holiday, especially if you're gonna be doing like a holiday party or a holiday themed activity with family and friends. It's definitely fun to start outside. This one is obviously way too small, but I wanted to show you just since I had an extra. If you wanted to do a little pop of color on your door with your doormat, you could. I just really love like this one. I love the color of it. I love um, that it's a magnolia, like the magnolia tree that they put in. Um, so I'm gonna put this one back up. I will say I normally get holiday pillows here, but I had the hardest time finding Valentine's Day stuff this year. I had leftovers from last year, but you guys will have to let me know down below in the comments section. Like I went everywhere and there were just very, very few items left out. So I didn't get to get that many new things. Otherwise I might've gotten a wreath or something like that. I was definitely wanting pillows for outside and inside, but they were all either red or pink. I couldn't find any like neutral ones like I typically do. I've typically had really good luck finding neutral holiday pillows, but I feel like the Valentine's Day decor this year was just super low. I feel like even in pinks and reds, people didn't get a lot, but especially if those aren't your colors, and maybe that's why you don't decorate for Valentine's Day. Maybe it's just too bright and too colorful, but you still want the house festive for your kids. That's how I am. I know Savannah loves it. She puts color in her room for Valentine's Day because she loves it. But for my spaces, I don't want a lot of reds and pinks and purples. So I start thinking outside the box. And one of the things I did was grab these heart coasters. So they're like marble with wood. They match the look and feel of my house, but it's still super festive. Like when she saw them, she was like, oh my gosh, I love it. It feels like Valentine's Day. So you can incorporate holiday um, decor in and it doesn't have to be bright and bold and colorful. Another thing that can be stressful for me is putting a lot out in my house. 
So I don't want to have all my decor out and then add in holiday decor on top of it and it just got cluttered. So I'm just replacing pieces that I already had there. So I already had a coaster sitting on this table. I just put those away and then put out the heart shape. So there's not any excess clutter, which I find super helpful. Another easy thing you can do, especially on your budget, is just switch out your hand soaps. So like in my kitchen, I still had my winter forest hand soap. I love the smell of it. I was sad to see it go but it's just such an easy way to flop it out for like a holiday themed and once again it doesn't have to be crazy colored I picked this up from Ross it was like $3.99 I'm gonna show you in the bottle right here yeah it was $3.99 I set it out so even if black's not your color or pink's not your color this was just a simple white and gold it feels classic it feels neat there's not tons of design on it it's just one simple heart now I will say a lot of people were posting that they got these cake stands in the shape of a heart. I looked everywhere for those and I just wasn't lucky enough to find one, but that would be another easy way just to switch out to this little stand right here and it would be a heart shape and I think it would have been super, super cute. Up next is hand towels. It's another really affordable way to get just that holiday theme in. Now you could go fun here. This would be a great place to do a pop of color. Even with the hand soap, you could as well if you want everything else neutral. I could not find any neutral hand towels this year. So when I opened up my tub from last year, I was so excited because I forgot I had these. And they're just simple and gray, yet they have the heart pattern on them. And I'm gonna have hand towels out anyways. So it was a win-win. And now we're gonna go on to my counters with my cutting board. So I already had a marble cutting board out, but this one I picked up from TJ Maxx for $16.99 and it was the shape of a heart. So this still functions. If I need to use it, I can grab it, cut on it, clean it, put it back up. But once again, it's just that little touch of Valentine's Day in our home without being super crazy. Now we're gonna head back outside so I can flip all of these pieces over and now spray the front side. I will say for all my pieces, it just needed one layer. Sometimes you might need two if you like missed a spot, but I did it really well the first coat. Plus this is the back side, so you're not really gonna see it, so it doesn't have to be perfect. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just flip them over, give this front side a layer of paint, and then I will show you how it looks. I did wanna mention about my cardigan, like my top and my shoes. I know I'm gonna get asked about it. I'll link everything I can down below in my description box. Most of it's probably gonna be in the Amazon store, so definitely check that out if you're liking like my shoes or my leggings or my top. Um, even when I dress, I don't wear a lot of color, but I still wanna feel like on theme. So I just found this cardigan that was white and gray with some hearts. It's still fun, it's still festive. I could wear it to you know a kid's school party and still look the part, but I don't have to be in crazy red all the time. I decided to let this dry for about 30 minutes or so. I wanted to head back inside and work on another space just so I didn't mess any of that up, but I also didn't waste my time just standing there watching paint dry. So we're gonna head into my guest bathroom. This is another space. I like to just tweak it a little bit. It's super tiny. I'm not gonna do a ton to it, but I do like switching out the hand soap. I'd also would have loved to have like a cute little hand towel in here, but like I said, I couldn't find one, but I did find this cute hand soap. Once again, it was $3.99 again as well, but I liked that it had a little pattern and print to it, it was fun, it was festive, so I'm gonna stick this out in here.
Another cute thing I found, I thought these were adorable, but they're little soap petals. And so this is hand soap. And I guess you can just peel off a petal and use it to wash your hands. I thought these were so sweet. I bought them with the intentions of um, our guest bathroom. And then I also put them in Savannah's bathroom as well, because I know she's going to love them. I just thought they were beautiful. They were fun. Obviously, I'll have to like tell my guest if they come over, because if I saw those, I wouldn't think hand soap. But I thought it was just a sweet and cool touch. Um, I did go ahead and grab a coaster from my living room. I didn't know what those colored like petal roses, if that red would get onto my quartz. So if you're going to do this and you have a light colored quartz and you're worried about it, just throw them onto a little coaster like I did and then you don't have to worry about it. Just because once they get wet, I'm not sure what they'll do. Now it's too late. Now it's too late. I'm out of time. Now I'm going to start working on my fireplace. Um, I've never really had a real fireplace before until this house. And if you've been around for a while, you guys know my, my motto is less is more. I don't like a ton of things. But then this Christmas, I decorated my mantle and like layered it and put a ton up there. And I will say when it comes to your fireplace mantle, less is not more. More is more when it comes to that, or if it is for me anyways. So I grabbed some garland. Once again, this is all going to be no color, super neutral. It's going to be earthy tones, blacks and whites. But I love just layering a ton of signs and garland. Um, you're going to see me add some candles. But I just feel like the more I put on there, it just feels so cozy and warm. And I feel like that's a perfect place, especially for Valentine's Day. You can turn on the fire. It looks homey. You can snuggle on the sectional. Um, I really love how this area turned out. I wish you would be right here with me. I'm thinking of you So if you're trying to decorate outside of the normal Valentine's Day box, think of things when you think of Valentine's Day. Think of hearts, think of love, candles, to me even like blankets and being cozy. All of that stuff ties into like love being in the air. Um, I had also picked up these candles. I found them on like major clearance at Lowe's. So I bought quite a few of them to have and I'm glad I did. I love having fake candles up here and they look so real at night. They like even a flicker and they're on a timer. So they turn on and off. And I feel like just adding love signs and hearts and a ton of candles really did just make this space feel really romantic, which I feel like it should be cozy and romantic for Valentine's Day. Right here, just to get a little height, I grabbed one of my cupcake stands. Um, just so the candles had some dimension. If you don't own those, run to your nearest Target. You'll have to check a few times, but they'll be in the dollar spot. They're only a dollar, and I use them for sponges. I use them for candles. I use them for decorating for all the holidays with like eggs and pumpkins. You'll use them a million times, and they're only a dollar, so definitely be on the hunt for those. I will say Ross gets them a lot for like a four pack for like $4.99, so they're always a really good deal and you'll use them more than you realize. Next spot I'm gonna be working on is like right here in my living room. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out anything that I don't need now. If there's any trash, I'm gonna throw it away. I did find this really cool blanket. I couldn't believe when I found it at Ross. I got it a few weeks ago and it's like the cream color. It looks very Scandinavian like my style and then it had black hearts on it. It was only $19.99 so I was sold. 
Um, I didn't know if I should put it on my blanket ladder. I didn't know if I should put it on my sofa. I really do wish I had like black heart pillows for my sectional. I'm definitely gonna still be on the hunt so I can get them next year. And like I said earlier, I need to check on Amazon because I definitely would have like completed this look. I hope everybody is enjoying today's video. We still have some more things we're working on. I still have some more tips for you guys, so definitely don't click off yet. If you're enjoying today's video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that red button down below. It's free, it's easy, and it'll notify you if you click the notification bell every time I post so you don't miss any of my future videos. The pieces were dry, so I brought them inside, and I'm gonna show you a before photo because these pieces look completely different. That is how easy and how quick you can change pieces. If you think you don't like a piece, spray paint it a color that's in your house first and make sure before you toss it, it could be gold, it could be silver, it could be a pop of color, whatever your style is, spray paint it and you're going to be shocked how different the piece can look and you may love it now, you may keep it forever. If you hate it, you can donate it and sell it. Somebody else will love it but I try to always find something to do with my piece to make sure I really don't like it before I get rid of. Um, and then this piece I knew was gonna be perfect because it had the touch of wood on it and I love black and wood, obviously. Um, so this was just a super win and I love, love, love it. The last area we're gonna be working on today is my dining room table. I don't decorate my dining room table for every holiday, but I picked up these really cute black and white heart napkins, and I thought it would help make that space feel a little festive since everything is neutral. Sometimes you have to put a little bit more in if it's neutral um, in other spaces, so you kind of feel it throughout the house. Plus, we do Valentine's Day dinner at home together. Chase and I will go out before but I tried to avoid Valentine's Day. So we'll get all dressed up, Savannah, Chase, and I, and sit down here and have a nice dinner. So I thought it would be nice to go ahead and do um, a table setting just so it feels fancy and fun and neat. And it was really so simple. All I did was buy the napkins for $5.99 and everything else I had. When I first pulled out this love piece, I didn't know how it was gonna work. I knew I wasn't gonna put the gold and silver out, but I knew I wanted to try spray painting it. And I'm not gonna lie, it turned out really well. I even love the texture of the glitter on it. It just adds a little bit of dimension. So I just wanted to show you guys today that you can decorate your home and it doesn't have to be the traditional pinks and reds and purples you can do it in your way and your style i feel like this isn't too much i don't feel like it's too little i feel like it's just right like the moon needs to sun we don't care about the others you said my world of fire I 
just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and definitely making it until the end. I appreciate it so much. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I don't know what I do without